Hey YouTube, it's Mike Cross once again bringing you another quick tip. But before we get into this quick tip, I want to let everybody know that we have passed 2,000 subscribers. Yay! 2,000 subscribers. Now, I want to thank every subscriber for helping me pass 2,000 subscribers, y'all. That was the hardest thing to do, but we did it. One more gold knockdown. Also, if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, let me help you by showing you some of the tricks and techniques that I use. Some of the things you should do and some things you shouldn't do. Now, if you're trying to make money online in the music industry, if you're just trying to grow a YouTube channel, I can show you some tips that will teach you how to make money online even before you reach 1,000 subscribers. Even if you only have one subscriber, I can show you a system that will earn you income. But for right now, today's quick tip is rolling off the loads on all vocal mics. Even if you're in the studio or live recording, you must roll off those low ends on the vocal mic. On most mixing boards, there is a roll off button that I usually hit immediately. Even if it's a, a vocal mic, some small percussion type mic, the sun is, man, the sun is killing me. Woo! But on most mixing boards, there is some type of roll off. On most mixing boards, on each channel, there's some type of roll-off button. If not, you can always use the EQ to roll off the loads. Roll off your vocal mics around 53 hertz or more. Quiet mics, I even go 70 hertz for quiet mics. You want to get all the loads out of all your mics so you can leave more headroom for that bass kick, bass guitar, all your loads will mix a lot better. I'm Mike Cross. As a bonus tip, I'm gonna say one of my tips that I already said again. If you wanna make money in the business of music or if you're trying to grow in any way, the best place to start is at a church. I can't stress that enough, people. Get involved with a church. I just sat at church behind the mixing board and was talking to people about me running a YouTube channel. I got three more subscribers and I have someone that's willing to help me for free to get my YouTube channel growing faster. Get involved with a church. The best place to network in the music industry is at a church. All you got to do is go up to any large church, large church now that's in your area and start working with them. It don't have to be a large church. You can even start off at a small church and just say, I'm, I want to help. You using that word help will help you. If you help others, others will help you. These are, these are things that's taught in the Bible. And I'm not trying to get all biblical, but these are things that are taught that you should learn and understand. If you go out and start helping your church grow, because that's what it's all about, people at the church will start helping you, and it's called networking. Music recording network. I'm Mike Cross. Peace out.